My guy is here. ASAP Rock is in the building. Yeah. Hi, my love. Hey, how you doing? What do you have on today? Give me the rundown. I'm on my slick Rick tip today. You okay, tell me? me. Break it down very for the people. School. I got like too many chains on, very excessive. It looks very heavy on the neck. Thank you. You know, I feel very 88 <laughs> with my ring on, like a four finger ring. Does your, what does your ring say? Oh, you know, that's the that's what we represent. I thought it said oh. Angie. I was really <laughs> <You> was <about laughs> to rob I thought me. you really prepared <laughs> for today's interview. I was really excited. About. You was about to rob me. That's I'm crazy. Like, let me hold that. Me. What size are you? <laughs> What size? What's your shoe size? <laughs> What's your size? Uh, and then is this one of those one of your babushkas? Yeah, what yeah, is this? It's a babushka right here. I just got it on the neck right now. Babushka, you is know, that's a mm -hmm. testing uh, tour merch bandana. My little jacket I made. This is actually like all these pins and stuff is from the thrift stores and stuff. So, but what's up with these pieces though? This is not yeah, ordinary man. pieces. Yeah, this is my little ASAP piece right here. It spells out my name. Well, you know the game. Yeah. ASAP. Couple charms. Little V loan piece. Little testing piece. You know. Light work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always like to know what you have on when you come. Thank you. Um, so a lot of you, uh, everybody knows already, Yams Day is coming back. And yes. we have tickets to give away, so we're going to do that today yes. with Rocky. Yes. Um, tell everybody, tell somebody who's never experienced Yams Day what is happening. Man, Yams Day is crazy. So this is our fourth annual Yams Day. I mean, I'll give you brief history on the past yeah. three ones. Uh, last year we had Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi. We had French Montana, Takashi 6 9 Everybody performed. That one got shut down early. <laughs> what happened last year? Little fight broke out, but that ain't about nothing. Uh, <laughs> the, year <laughs> the year before that Way one. to go, guys. I hate when people fight at good, good uh, like, this is for a good cause. That's the wrong energy. And, and what I will yeah. say is I feel like everybody was very ap uh, apologetic. You know what I'm okay. saying? Yams Day is not one of those problematic situations. It's supposed to be like unity and you yes. know, expressing that in harmony and whatnot. So Celebrating somebody that was a musical figure and icon yeah. and whatnot. So, you know, and I appreciate that from people because obviously we still mourning for them. And just to show the legacy and see how it's still like persevering and whatnot, I think mm -hmm. that's beautiful. You feel me? Yeah. The man's been dead. He's been gone for about like four years now. So, you know. This the is, name stays yes, and the, you know, yes, and the, and the yeah. legacy stays, which is dope. Yeah. Is it emotional still? Like, do you still yeah, feel? Yeah, man, because I miss that dude, man. He's crazy, man. He just, <laughs> he's, it's, not, it's nothing like him. Nobody like him. But the year prior to that, we had um, myself, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, the That was weekend. a big deal. You, yeah. And the thing is, you don't promote them, right? Nah, They're just kind of surprised. We, that's what we do every year. So, like, you come and you just got to expect everybody that he either was friends with or touched or had love for to come out and support. You know what I'm saying? And we try not to get everybody on the same bill the same year. So right. sometimes we got to save people for like the year prior. Like this year like, at the Barclay. Yeah, exactly. So do you have surprises this year? Yes, we do, of course. Uh, you, surprises every year. And you know what they are? Or yeah, you, we do. Or you don't know till like day of? No, nah, we know who okay. they are. A few of them. <laughs> <All> right, <laughs> and, and a few of them, you know, just like hip-hop people, they late, fashionably late, so we gonna find out today and tomorrow. Well, you, <laughs> wait, was Takashi banned already from Barclay? I mean, he, he, he wasn't at the Barclay last year. No, it, it wasn't. wasn't at the Barclay. It wasn't, but he was banned from the... A at, lot of places. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he was banned at the moment. Uh, oh. January 18th last year. Got it. But he he definitely got banned from that. But he didn't know Yams, but you he probably nah, just but, came out as a respect, right? Yeah, for sure, because it's New York, you know what yes. I'm saying? So he's a New York artist, and we always like to, you know, promote New York artists yeah. aside from that, you know? Yeah. So I think it's good, you know, to, to carry on that tradition. You know. All right, well, everybody, we're going to give some tickets away uh, today after the, uh, well, actually, we're going to do it in a couple of minutes. ASAP Rocky's in the building. Uh, we got tickets to Yams Day. By the way, you can buy your tickets, and it's for a good cause. Yep, and if you buy the tickets today and tomorrow and the day of, you get this customized, very special oh. V-Loan ASAP oh. Yams T-shirt. You know, and today? Yes, today and tomorrow. So, uh, didn't I read too that you're doing like a collab? Is that the off white? You're yeah, doing a so we did an off white collaboration, mm -hmm. um, sweatsuit for Yams Day. Yeah, we did a, a cactus plant uh, collaboration, a disco ferno. We did a few. We did a, a Fredo, rest in peace, Fredo Santana. He was part mm -hmm. of Chief Keith's group. You know, everybody know he just passed mm -hmm. not too long ago, and it was um, you know, one of Yams. He was one of Yams's good friends and one of our good friends. We knew him internally before the fame and everything. So it's like we want to pay respect. So we got a, a T-shirt for him. Proceeds go to you know his causes and whatnot and mm -hmm. his family and whatnot. Yeah. And what do Yams' day causes go? 
What is they, it? They go to a nonprofit organization that Mama Yams set up. You know what I'm saying? Mama Yams was here with Pro Style the other day. Yeah, yo, yeah, she, she be partying, man. Like sometimes <laughs> I be at the club, like I see her pull up, like I'm like Mama Yams it's at like, the club. Yeah, she be out three, four a.m. partying. I <laughs> Good love for that her. Lady. At least she find joy. You yeah, know what I mean? Is, it's, yeah, she, I'm she sure that's. It going. That's a tough, uh, you know, burden to bear yeah, as a for mom. For sure, for sure. Um, so what is the organization that she has? What do they do? You... The, the Always Strive and Prosper um, oh. organization is just basically about, like, drug awareness and mm -hmm. the prevention and whatnot like that. You yeah, know, that's good. We know our brother died from an overdose. Mm -hmm. And just like people like Lil Peep and, you know, Mac Miller, mm -hmm. rest in peace, you know, it's one of those situations where it's, in hip-hop, it, it's kind of, it's... It's oversaturated with that, and yeah. you keep you hear that more common than you hear like you know, rest in peace X X X people really being you know murdered or something like that. It's yeah. a lot of people just dying from overdosing and uh, close to near death experiences. You hear that a lot, you know what I'm saying? So I've been trying to like kind of chill. I know I was gonna <laughs> ask you how that affects you because you've been you know you publicly yeah, do yeah. what you do. I publicly did the little LSD and all that. Yeah, so where you at with all that now? Sober. Man, sober right really? now. Really? Yeah. How long? Uh, 15 days. 15 days, all right. 15 days, more than before. <laughs> it was my New Year's resolution. I just, you know, I like I said, and praise the Lord, sometimes I even stop the smoking when it's time to focus. Like, mm -hmm. I just got to get my mind right, get it healthy. And How does that it, feel? How do you feel? I'm 30 years old now, so it's like I, some when I smoke weed, like, it, I just be like, damn. Like, I'll be out of it, and. I'm like, talking about super high. faded, yeah, it's shaded. Good. Like our priorities I've seen you don't like, matter. I've seen you I like know that. you have, but back then <laughs> it didn't matter when you you only like 24, 25. Yeah. Now you know what I'm saying. Like I gotta chill a little bit, but you know that's just for now. You know I'm not forever. It's just I'm you know getting my SHRT together. You I did? love that. Yeah, I love that. All right, so everybody, once again, Yams Day. When is the date? Uh, January 17th. January 17th. Uh, which is what? Thursday. Thursday? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's right here. Thursday. Um, it's at the Barclay. Yep. Who's performing? Tell them who's performing. We got... Um, I could I could announce a few people. I'll give a... Because, you know, I want to save the uh, a lot of the big names. We got um, Ski Mask, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, we got uh, Chief Keef. Mm -hmm. um, we got Young M.A. Shout out to Young M.A. Ah, nice. I love Young M.A., by I the love, way. I love her, too. She she one of the illest female rappers. I say that all the time. O.D. Like, when I, people ask me, I always say her. They're always surprised. I'm like, why? I love her style. Me, you know too. You Because it's just... And, and you know who else I like? I like... You ever heard of this chick, Rico Nasty? No. Yo, you got to check her out. She fire. Where's she from? I, I don't know. I think... She Maryland? from Maryland, right? DMV That's or something little like DMV that. That's yeah. girl over there. She know. Yeah, she fire because, like, you know, what I like about Rico Nasty and what I like about Young and May is, like, usually when you're looking at a female from a sexist perspective in, ra in rap, you yeah, either want to like fuck me. Yeah, like You either want to yeah. have... You either want to rag them or you want to... You know what I'm saying? You um, <laughs> you attracted to him. Or what? <laughs> or, or, or what? I'm trying not to curse, you know? <laughs> but you, you want to do sexual things to so him. I think, like... <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> I think with, with Rico Nasty and with Young and May, like, you really... They could get you moving, like, you know what I'm saying? It yeah. don't matter if it's a male it's or a female. It's not about that, right? It's yeah, about Yeah, usually when you listen bars. to female rappers, they talking like, bitches on my dick. Y'all hoes want to dress like me. Y'all hoes want to be like me. And we hear that shit enough in rap. I know. It's predominantly <laughs> men doing that, saying that about each other. Then I don't need no females telling each other how they on each other, imaginary dicks and shit. I'm yeah. good on all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But shout outs to Nikki and Cardi at the top doing their thing. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, shout outs to all the females that's coming up that got their own stuff. Tierra Whack, all these chicks that's actually fire. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want to shed light on that. Org DVD Part Four is gonna show all the females in, yes? in hip hop. Yeah, all the all the females in hip hop that's actually fire. I you know what that. I'm saying? That got their own style. You dig? And some girls is sexy and they still got bars and they still do their things. Shout out to Sweetie and all that. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's a it's a it's a couple. You know what I mean? A couple girls on the Things. on the come up. You know, shout outs to a lot of the girls that I know. You know what I mean? It's a lot to remember off top. I have yeah. um I have also that uh, Playboy Cardi is performing yep. and he gang though he all you yeah did? yes so, you now we do. Were you fighting the other day? Nah, Playboy that was Cardi. not me. It was not you because nah. it's so funny that because it looked like it. <laughs> that's a Yo, weird. Thing. I get that a lot, man. You know, I get confused with uh, Travis Scott, Joey Badass. It was you know, Travis Chief Scott Keys. and Playboy Cardi that, fighting. You know what? That might have been Joey Badass up there wilding out with oh. them Canadians, man. Joey mm -hmm. got to chill, Bob. Man, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay. All right, then. That was good talk. That was good talk about that. Please stay out of trouble. <laughs> And you know I'll be behaving myself. Come on now. I don't know that. Yes, no, you do. No, I don't. When the last time you heard about me, me this personally. Week. <laughs> <laughs> this week. Actually, I, I heard told something. you that wasn't me. Clearly, Shaggy. it wasn't you. But what I had heard was that you had gotten into a fight, and I didn't know what was happening. Luckily, you seem to be okay, because it must not have been you, because oh, your yeah. face doesn't seem to be. Or, yeah, yeah. You know what? Your pretty little face seems try, to be intact. I try to keep the face pretty. I try <laughs> yeah, my best. You I know, know what I'm saying? Do. I don't like, I'm not a fighter. Mm-hmm. I'm not no gangster, so I ain't no tough guy, man. I don't promote that. Like, I promote creativity. Mm-hmm. Really and truly, that's what really get me going. Besides beautiful women, you know what I'm saying? Not like their object and nothing like that, but I just feel like I'm inspired to, like, you know, make dope shit, dope stuff for people that's like minded like myself. Mm-hmm. And I just love, you know, my clothes and I love women. And um, <laughs> you said women already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I love, you know, cartoons. The, the women love you too, by the way. I love them back. Who, are you in a relationship right now? Yeah, you know what? Uh, yeah. You are? Yeah. Do we know her? Is she famous? Because nah. you're like a famous girl. She she regular. She's uh, normal. Is this like serious or is new? It's new. Okay. Yeah. Are you a relationship guy or you like nah. a, you like to keep it <laughs> ca- casual? Yeah, I'm usually not a relationship kind of guy. Just based off the fact that like I don't like... Um, I prefer long-term friendships and relationships and acquaintances opposed to uh, just uh, one-night stands or just, like, right. going out with somebody then having them be your ex and hating them. Yeah. So, you know, that's why it's just, like, for me, if I get involved with a female, nine times out of ten, she's going to be in my life from that point moving forward. Like, forever? You're one yeah. of those that you're, like, friends I, with your not? exes? Yeah. Why not? Because a lot of my friends, a lot of the girls I used to date are now the head chief at Dior or the head chief at Gucci or the head, you know, person at this and that. And, like, we all, we going to work together eventually, and yeah. it's just good energy. They want to see me win, and I love that they, you know, prospering. It's just beautiful. Some of them marry right now. Some of my exes is pregnant, all that. And I think that's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So you end nicely. Oh, man, I end beautifully. There's got to be some that don't end nicely. There has oh, to be. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's crazy women out there. I can't, I'm not in control of that, though. <laughs> There's definitely some women that There's some women out there that are psychotic. But it's men that's a psychotic for women, too, I guess. But, like, they're predominantly more crazy women, and y'all know that's the truth. By nature... I don't know that's the truth, actually. By nature, we are not going to have this are, battle of the sexes. We are more... Well, we tend to be more... We tend to be more emotional. True. So then maybe that could be seem crazy, but men could be a little crazy, too. There's nothing worse than an emotional man. But sometimes they're not <laughs> emotional. Sometimes they could be obsessive or, like... You know. <laughs> Those are all emotions. Yeah, you're right. You're not an emotional guy. I feel like you low-key might be an emotional guy. I'm a sweetheart, guy. so for me, it's like, you know, it's easy to hurt my feelings. That's why I try Aww. to protect my heart. For real. <laughs> I'm not trying to play victim. Right. Like, I, it's easy to hurt my feelings, and I guess my defense mechanism is, like, not being Guarded. In, yeah. You're guarded. You know, so that's really it. That's very cute. Thank you. See, that's why. See, he knows what he's She doing. made me blush. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Yo, how's your skin. mom? You She's know, good. I, you know Yo, I love your mom. I swear, I was just watching this interview, like the Rakim interview, like yeah. two weeks ago. I promise I you. I always say tour. this, but please, if you're a fan of ASAP Rock and you never watched my interview when I introduced him to Rakim, classic. please do. It's a classic. Thank you so it's much. It's one of my favorites of all time. That's, Easily top five, top ten, one of my favorites of all time. That highlights my career. That highlights my life. I was just so green and I was just so new. It was so Because <laughs> you, you were still, like, now I feel like you're really who you're like. You were still, like... <laughs> You were like, pop, you know, you were still like, your, um, I don't know, you were just on your cool shit. You're like your extra cool shit with me. Yeah. But when he walked in, you just turned into like a kid. You was like, yo. And I loved seeing that. I loved seeing that yo. you you show like that type of moment it was and be open Man. with it was dope. Honestly, you I You were like, can I call my mom? mom? I was like, yeah, you can call your mom. It was just dope. I'll always remember that. I don't care. Ten years from now, my I'll mom love your you. ass. Yeah, she's she love you to death. Yeah, I love I her too. Swear. <laughs> That's a great, that was a great moment. Anyway, yes, go watch that if you haven't yet. And go get tickets to Yams Day. It is Yammy. Thursday um, at the Barclay. Yep. Um, there's not going to be any fighting this year because no everybody's clear about the, the, the agenda. And, and uh, last year when a fight happened, I think everybody, you know, we, we got to speak about it. And that's why it, it didn't prolong or nothing escalated from there. What do you mean? You know, the, the whole fighting, <clears throat> the situation with... Uh, 
you know, the Brooklyn cats and us Harlem cats, you mm -hmm. know, what happened. And I think uh, everybody squared it out like men. And Did you square it out there that night? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, that's after, unusual. Yeah, yeah. Because it's 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 everybody's on a, uh, a common mutual ground, and it's like we doing it for yams, bro. His mom's is there. It's, it's it's kids there. People ain't come for that. People really want to see a show and celebrate somebody. And at the end of the day, ASAP we ain't on that tip right now. At least mm -hmm. Flacco not. You know, I can't yeah. really speak for everybody in ASAP. Everybody fight, but you know what I'm saying. At the <laughs> end happens. of the day. You know, shit happens. Yeah, and but, and I and I I appreciate people who are very apologetic and very sincere about that, and it's very honorable. You know, as young men and as men, what everybody did at the end of the day. I'm, so. I'm amazed actually that it happened then, because usually emotions are high and you still hot. Because we all knew we were wrong. Uh huh. I got it. You know when you wrong is like. So you squashed. So you fought and then squashed it. Like men should. Yeah. What happened to that? People yeah. don't fight and squash it. The whole purpose of fighting back in the days, before my time. You shoot a fair one? Fair one. Yeah. Get it on. Some, sometimes niggas get jumped. I understand. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the whole purpose of fighting was so you could just settle your differences. Mm. Don't get me wrong. Some niggas just need to get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? When you see them, you got to run that fade. That's that. But, like, at the end of the day, most of the time, you just got to fight. So it's a, a mutual respect that's, you know, being understood. And taking if, place. And if somebody does have to get fucked up, it shouldn't happen at a positive good event exactly. with their children exactly. and parents. So we all wrong by default. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I apologize, yeah. you know. All right, so uh, Thursday goes <clears throat> down. Uh, maybe there'll be some surprise guests up in there. Oh, it will be. Okay, That's good. A, that, the whole lineup is basically surprise guests. We have French Montana every year. Shout out to my brother, Frenchy. You know, Coke boys. I love my brother. He's crazy. He's crazy. I'm R. so Kelly. mad at him for saying all that R. Kelly shit. And I know he was probably out yeah. drinking, wasn't really can paying I, can attention. Can I say something about that? Yes, please. I think he had a Kanye moment where he was trying to articulate something and, you know, it his delivery just wasn't right. right. I think what he was trying to say was like, people like Bill Cosby, people like R. Kelly, they, you know, build up this legacy for a long time. And it's just like, it just gets taken away. Don't get me wrong. Do I know if R. Kelly is a, um, a rapist and all that other uh, other stuff? It seems like he is. I mean, like he married Aaliyah when she was 15, all that other stuff. But then the parents have to sign off on that? Like, isn't no, that No, they like, forged the papers. His man, for, uh, his man forged papers to say that she was 18. What? That, yeah. It was, it's, it's bad. You lying. And I don't care how old. I don't care who. Yeah, that's kind of like, crazy. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of sick. But I was, this, my point. shit that's inexcusable. I feel Exactly. I feel no, no. Like, you know, I was about to say, if yeah. you know, he married Aaliyah at 14, 15. 15. That's mm -hmm. kind of, you know what I'm saying? He was, what, that's 30 enough. or 27 or yeah, something? Yeah, we should have we pulled the plug down. How was he when that uh, alleged uh, video came out? I think he was like 20, I want to say 29. I could be wrong. It could be 27. But too yeah, old. Yeah, way to too old. On a little too goddamn old. And I look at it like this, like, you know what I'm saying? If that man has a sickness, you know what I'm saying he needs to be dealt with he done beat he done beat the court dates and all that stuff that goes to show that this whole system is corrupted mm -hmm. it's bigger than that yeah. but it's all the time it just takes away from legacies and shit like that and it's fucked up that like people like him who has he's the he was the king of r and B. I know. you feel what i'm saying like r kelly was the king of r and B. he toured with jay-z he did incredible shit like he wrote for Aaliyah. he wrote i mean he signed people all this shit and i mean he wrote i believe i could fly you feel me and like this motherfucker now is just like known for like just being like a sex pedophile and all that other shit I it's think it's sad it's actually sad that's what Frenchie yeah. was probably trying to say like it's fucked up you know what I'm saying like but you know Frenchie crazy so he just was drunk he was, on his uncle shit I could tell shit. from the audio I was like he, wasn't, <laughs> he was just talking shit he you wasn't heard him thinking slurring his words I did <laughs> and I'm, what I'm happy about is that he got right to it he ain't wait he ain't let it slide he was like look I don't fuck with you know what I mean I, yeah. I'm disappointed and I'm, we called him racist and I, I mean not a racist a pedophile and he, you know he, he apologized and corrected himself quick yeah just, yeah but at the same time no man it's just like a touchy subject to speak on it's so touchy if you're not saying like fuck that nigga oh, kill yeah. then nobody wanna hear you yeah and that's why i i get what he was it's trying to say overall sad the whole thing about it is where's sad. this show at because i don't find it on netflix on youtube on, i've been on tour you're not a lifetime viewer you don't really watch man lifetime that's television. my mom she watching <laughs> ain't that like touched by angel yeah, and all that that's crazy there? yeah it's the like golden <laughs> girls i think yeah, it's on like, they say that that actually that 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 are uh Surviving R. Kelly was the highest show that they've ever had on of the course. network since they've been on ever. Of like, course. Like, you don't even know where to find it, right? I don't. <laughs> Come right, on, I'm a, So, Lifetime.com. You know what? I could tell you haven't watched it just from our conversation. I know, oh, yeah. And, uh, excuse and that's me the if thing. I'm a... And I bet you French didn't watch it. Yeah. And then said that because he was just, you know, 
it's the, but it's to be seen. And Joe, just, Yo, just you so might you know, I'm different. not trying to justify. I know you're not. Kelly no, no, did. I know you're not. I don't not. like little girls. I ain't, no, I, I can't know, get jiggy with that <laughs> no, shit. It's clear, it's That's clear. not my style. It's clear, but when you see it, it's something changes. I'm telling yeah. you why. Yeah, something in your demeanor will change when you talk about him. Ooh. When you see it, yeah, it's really, it's really dark and sad and. It makes you angry. Do I really want to see this? Maybe you should because you should know. You should just be, you know what I mean, informed, I guess. I don't know. Or just I mean, never. That's not my world, yeah. man. I probably shouldn't watch that. Yeah. That fuck me up. <laughs> I, fuck you I up. want a daughter one day, you know what I'm saying? So it it's will like, fuck you up then. Yeah. It was It's scary. crazy. I want a daughter opposed to a son because I feel like I would corrupt my son. Like, I would have really? him. Really? Yeah, man. I would, fuck, I would fuck his whole life up, man. <laughs> he would be the best, worst little nigga out here. Why? Because he would be a problem. <laughs> First of all, this little nigga going to be handsome. He going to be jiggy. You know what I'm saying? He going to have charisma. I'm not going to have him, like, tucked away in the suburbs somewhere. You know, I'm going to make sure he go see my family in the Bronx and Harlem. Mm -hmm. Is he going to be real? He going to be He gonna be a real nigga. You feel me? Why is that bad? Because I'm problematic. Oh, like, right, you know what right. I'm saying? You don't want to have to deal with I don't with want him to inherit that. So like, you feel bad for your mom is what you're saying. You're no, nah, my mom's was all right because I was a good kid. I was just a worse teenager in the it, when it. it came to women. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, a daughter would calm me down. Like, she'll make, that would be my princess. Until you see some her, her hanging out with some boy. You know what it is? Like, it's like this, right? Like, I'm just, I got to be the father that, you know, I got to be the kind of dad that my dad was. You got to be supportive. You got to kind of be understanding. Times have changed, right? Man, kids are so open-minded these days, you and know? And they have and access free to spirit, every right? bit they of got, information. They know what twerking is at the age of two and three yeah. and stuff like that. And you can't really hide sex, alcohol, videotape, sex, drugs, videotape from these kids. That's just part of their demographic mm. and generation. I'm not condoning it at all. I'm just saying, you know, monitoring it and just being there and being understanding is better than always, you know, trying to neglect them of it. Or trying to, uh, you know, uh, ridicule and chastise them. You know, you got to chastise them as a parent. But just, you know, like not letting them live a little. Yeah. And I think that's why at, at the age that I'm at now, I think, you know, that's the kind of parent I would be. Oh, you know? you're going to be a good parent. Yeah. You I'm don't got somebody cool pregnant out here yet, dude. Nah. Okay. From my knowledge. Because <laughs> you <talk> <laughs> 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 you haven't got any any of any of that yet. Any nah, of that paperwork? man. You know, I you know. <laughs> wrap it up. Good, good for you. You did as you should. Trojan, Magnum. I need that good. You know, campaign. What's popping? That sponsor. That would be a nice sponsor for Yams I'm Day. I'm come clean. Yeah. <laughs> Brought to you by Golden Magnums. <laughs> so Yams Day Thursday. If you want to be in the building, it is the fourth annual Yams Day. Yep. Uh, of course, ASAP Rocky, uh, ASAP the whole ASAP Mob. Yes, yep. Ferg. Everybody's coming. Yep. Uh, surprise guests uh, at the Barclay this Thursday, January 17th. Tickets at Ticketmaster, right? If you yep. want to buy tickets. Yes, ma'am. And then you, what are, what are we seeing from you next? We didn't even talk about that. I'm working on my music right now, uh, working on another project, uh, you know, working with my brother Tyler, the creator. Nice. His dumb ass. He, he was <laughs> there. <laughs> you know, I've never met him. I'm dying to meet him. Isn't that crazy? Come on, please interview Tyler. I would love to interview Tyler. Yo, I feel like he is... I'm going to call it. Please. Please. Please, that, but it tell would be him, hilarious. Tell him, please. I would love to. You will love him. He will love I you. I already love him, and I don't even know him. He's retarded. I Just know. disclaimer. <laughs> he plays too much. There's something wrong with that kid. <laughs> disclaimer. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, and so you're doing, and you're in the studio together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's my boy right there. That sounds dope. Yeah, working with Frenchie. Yeah, man, always. Good. So Good. when are you going to have Tyler in here? I will any any time. That shit is going to be hilarious. Why has he never been here? I don't even know. He's not like a promoter type of nah, kid. Nah, he's not. He's weird. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He would have to want to for some no, reason. No, no, he would, though, because he does, like, you know what I'm saying? Other people, I know he would do you. Trust me. Yeah, I would love that. I don't know why he hasn't. Can, can we reach out? Who do Yo, we call? for sure, I got you. Like, Who do we call? Trust me. You would love I don't I, even know his people. I don't even know none of his um, people. Him and Frank had the same people. Uh, Clancy. Him and French? Uh, Frank Ocean. Oh, they used Frank to Ocean. have the uh, same. I only did Frank once, and I had to go to him, and it was... Oh, that's amazing. Fr Frank don't do no fucking interviews. <laughs> I know it was rare, but he's so dope. He's a genius based off the fact that he had a deal and he didn't put out an album in four years. And with his deal, he literally figured out how to get 20 million from Lucian Grange, drop his deal, figure out how to make the funds, apply to a whole nother album, give him a bullshit album, get out his deal all in one round. Do you know how embarrassed the record industry was? Do you know how hard they've been whipping fucking artists since then? Like, this shit is some real slave shit. 
Like, you feel me? Like, that man figured out how to finesse the record industry, and people don't talk about that. That It took that man two years to do that shit. And then Blonde, he already got a $20 million check from Apple from that shit, which and he didn't have to put, give any of that shit back to to the label because he was already out his deal once he gave them Endless. You get what I'm saying? Look oh, this. Visual, he did that visual project. He, right? yeah, exactly. Visual. Now, am I lying? Anybody check out if I'm lying. This man, so, he, so now since 2016, already up 20 M's. I bet you ain't know that he had a BMW. That's how he inspired me to get my Mercedes Benz sponsored. That's I didn't why know people that. don't know I'm sponsored by Mercedes Benz. That's why I do collabs. That's why I design cars. That's why my stage has cars. That's why I do the commercials and stuff. It's just like doing Dior or something like that. He he, he inspired me to do that. Wow. <laughs> do you have any questions for Angie? We do an ask oh, we do. Hell yeah. Oh, we're going to do Ask Angie. Oh, yeah. We have a new segment on the show called Ask Angie. All right, so um, let me make them interesting. All right, fine. <laughs> Fine. This is making me nervous. No, don't be nervous. Okay. I ain't gonna. It's not inappropriate. I got you, Ange. Come on now. Some people be, be a little wild out Come here. Come on, it's me, Ange. Right. Come <laughs> on now. Okay. All right. What would you say is your favorite name brand and why? That's the first question. Oh man, that's it could be really Chanel. Hard. It could be LVM, Louis Vuitton. It could be, you oh, know, just. <sighs> it could be Timberland. You just got to tell me why. Even if it's nostalgia. Even if it's comfort. If it's uh, performance, you got to tell me why. And I know, because me and you, that's what we had in common back in the days. Every time I saw you, you check me. I don't care if it's at a charity event. What you got on? I always you like what, what you saying? have on. What I always got... like to see what okay. you have on. I do. And I love what you be having on. People don't <laughs> yeah, know you. I be real, you know. You be trying to be low key, but I know you got clean. style, so that's why I'm asking. No, I'm not, I'm not like you. <laughs> it don't not, matter. I'm not like you. Um... I don't know. Like, I'm a clean kind of classic. Got it. You know, um, so. You dress for comfort. Mostly I do. And okay. when I and I also don't like to, I like to be, when I don't dress for comfort, if I'm dressing to, to, to go out or to do something, I do like it to be effortless. I don't, I don't like when, I don't like for me, I don't, for other people could pull it off. Got it. When I look two put together like somebody put this here and this here i i don't feel right you know what i mean i, I like disagree it. i've seen you put together a few times you probably don't remember remember like tell me when seven years ago we was at that charity event and i was like damn Ange, you look fire we was at some i had it might have been i don't it know it was the jewelry i had um i had Ophira, you know what night i'm I had talking Ophira, about uh, lorraine schwartz's sister gave me some dope ass earrings and you see what i'm saying yeah yeah and you, you was you it was like it was almost like how you know how Cardi B looked right there, like with the finger wave. It was like you kind of had like the, <laughs> I like put the it 1930s. I mean, I clean up okay. You know what I'm saying? I clean up okay. <laughs> but honestly, I'm like a I don't know. Effortless. You know effortless. Got yeah. you. So effortless and comfortable. Yes. Fine. Uh, favorite <laughs> brands. What's your favorite kind of man? Oh, probably the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Classic and effortless. Okay. I hate a, a guy who tries too, too hard, hard or he's too thirsty. And I don't, What's I, too thirsty? Please put put the for guys out there, Edge. Can you let us let you these guys know? Is, stop I mean, I know. Y'all know what thirsty is. <laughs> you know what thirsty is when you're thirsty. When you, it could be for anything. You could be just out here trying to too thirsty for girls, too uh -huh. thirsty to meet people. You could be just too thirsty to like anything to let people know how cool you are, how rich you are, how. Any of that, like if you cool and if you got bread, real bread, and you like, then you should be comfortable and easy Facts. with that. It shouldn't Facts. be. You shouldn't have to. Facts. Be thirsty. Thirsty hey, with Charlie, everything. I got a bag for you one time. Twenty racks. Come but you on, know, now. rappers have to be a little like <laughs> a, a little over the top by nature. But I could, I could honestly say that um, I haven't spent a bag on a bitch in my life ever. Pardon. No. No, that, has, it was that like, can't you be see, true. I don't you believe what I, you. You see what I said? You. I never spent you the bag a, on a bitch. You dated a couple of. You dated a Jenner. What that mean? That means she probably likes you. You would have to. I'm handsome. That was enough. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you have to but, buy but anything. But look, look. It's it's like honestly, like gifts for your girlfriends is different. I'm talking about bags. On. Do you realize that like rappers will hit a chick on Instagram, fly her out, give her 15 racks, have sex with her, take her shopping. Then send up on her way. Oh, you ain't know that. I mean, I guess yeah. I don't really spend much time in that space, but what? yes, I'm, I'm not surprised. Any, ask any girl. Have you, 18 you and you've never done that? I've never done that. Yeah. Never in my life ever. But some of your friends have. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm not asking you to out anybody. I feel like girls should take me shopping, you know what I'm saying? And that's not even me trying to sound cool and cocky. I really do believe that. And I know that a lot you of you guys... You believe that girls should just take you shopping? Yes. Why? Because I'm handsome. Like... <laughs> Like no, like I'm a bad bitch in in, in that term. You right, know what I'm right. saying? Like, is that what so, you go with? Is that what you tell them? Do they know this, or you just expect it? They gotta know if they fucking with me. It's like one of them situations where it's like I don't want nothing from you if you don't want nothing from me. Besides, like good company, mm -hmm. great sex, mm -hmm. and you know inspiration. You know, if I can't get inspired by you, you don't have great conversation. We ain't got nothing to talk about. You know what I mean? I'm I'm tired of having like lustful and just like like empty sex it's just meaningless sex right it's just like you 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 bust a nut and then it's just like all right what you about to do because i'm about to like you know what i'm saying like <laughs> that kind of that's too not old fulfilling for, that. for you not no more you right. know what i'm saying like i really like now like girls you tell them come hang out they think they gonna get the d and sometimes you gotta curve them because like they be too thirsty like you said thirsty. or they just not your style your forte like some girls gotta know like it's certain type of dudes out there that's just like really like pushing like raising a bar like this lifestyle of like we we carry on on the legacy of pharrell we carry on the legacy of like what yay what he was doing like that's what we on right now you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like if you're not about that lifestyle you won't get it and people who are not about that lifestyle only want a bag if you only want to fuck with a dude for a bag that's complacent that's temporary you know what i'm saying yeah you don't what, what you I mean, don't anyway, gain no she should knowledge. buy you a bag but, but I get all that shit for free, so <laughs> right, it's like, right, right. what can you really give me that I can't right. give myself? But she should take you shopping because she you're pretty. Should. <laughs> Why not? I like nice things. I like flowers. Yeah. I like you white do? flowers, yeah. That's it. You're going to get a ton yeah. of flowers now. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Just putting it out there for everybody? Yeah. I love that. So this is what happens. It's ask Angie, but then I ask you the question. I can't help myself. Because you're a professional. I can't you know help. how to no, divert like, the I questions. I can't help it. I really can't help it. Anyway. All right, so you I might as well ask myself these questions. Now, fuck it with you. <laughs> I can't All right. help it. Uh, let's see. Last one. Last question. All right, cool. Let's make this a good one. Let's make this count. Those were, right. by the way, I love those. those they were, were cool great. questions, they right? Were. They I feel, were. I feel like they I didn't right. do a good job answering, but they were good. No, you did. You're very <laughs> smart. You don't need media training. So look. <laughs> Shout outs to Ange. Call her up if you need some media training one time. You know what I'm saying? I always, I, no, I believe me, it. it wouldn't be the first. I have, I've definitely helped a few people along the way. Facts, and, my, and myself included. Thank <laughs> you. So, um, my last question is, uh, what would you say? You know, in your all your years of doing this, you know, from being radio personnel, music artist yourself, mm -hmm. you know, um, music influencer, and just you know, le legendary person, icon in music. Yeah. What would you say your favorite disposition was? What do you mean? Meaning like, this is what you known for, right? But at the end of the day, in the 90s, you had, this is ladies night. And you oh, know what I mean? You yeah. was rapping and shit. Yeah. What was your favorite out Era? of all the things that don't apply to you today yeah. that you did? What was your favorite? Opposed to just being radio personality. But now can't count and radio personality can't count. Has no, no, no. I got to be outside of that. You know what I like? You know what I like doing? I like helping other people. And yeah. sometimes that, people don't even see it. Yeah. It'll be like behind a bit. There's been a couple of times, maybe as a young artist in here, that I've actually turned the cameras off and been like, don't, we're not gonna do this For today, sure. and here's why. For sure. Or after the interview, we'll have a conversation because you know I'm not here to hurt nobody. And That's so sometimes why. those, and then those relationships with five, 10 years later, and they're still rocking, and I, that gives me like a, like a That's real fun. type of joy, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, they'll touch base, like, yo, whatever, you know, a thank you or something will happen, and they'll be like, yo, I remember that day you did, you know what I mean? That, that type of shit is is the real shit, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so. basically, to sum it all up, <laughs> she's a humanitarian. Oh, yeah, when I'm in my humanitarian, <laughs> more not. Nah, nah. I can all dig of it. it. You're nah. so good at this, yo. You should host the show. I'm with it. You just let me know. Let me interview Tyler with you. What's up? I would love that. But yo, you Cause just... you, can, you know what? Because you could fill in some things that I might not even understand about him. But yeah. then also, I would be interested in things that you might not even think to ask. Yeah. Him. I'm just gonna say he's the he's a bigger troll than Takashi Six Nine. I know. He's I... a bigger troll than Soldier Boy. You don't know if yes he Wait is. Wait a minute. Wait yes, a minute. Yes he is. He is a troll for sure. But he's Takashi Six a... Nine. He's a way bigger He's troll like than 69. He's like 50 Cent level troll. What? We talking about, bro, Tyler the Creator literally come in here, say 30 gay jokes before he says hello to you. Oh, God. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, oh real talk. 
Like, he's a troll. I'm trying to tell, like, literally, it's people that he used to troll five years ago that think the kid hates him. And literally, like, I remember him and Two, two Chains had real beef. To two to two chains is knowledge, right? <laughs> two his, chains thought they had two real chains. Babe. Like every time I see two chains, he ain't fuck with him. Remember, I think you might have interviewed two chains, right? Maybe I'm, And he yeah. was just like, man, Tyler the Creator, tell him go ride a bike somewhere or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I'm listening to the fuck that little nigga. I'm telling you, <laughs> when <laughs> when two chains made that pretty girls love trap shit with yes. the pink house, uh-huh. your man Tyler was bumping that. Every fucking day. <laughs> I'm talking about, nah, bro, bro, call up 2 chains, bro. Just, just tell him. <laughs> call him, bro. I had to put, I had to FaceTime this nigga 2 chains like, yo, bro, this nigga want to tell you how much he love your album. I put him on the phone. These niggas is bonding and shit. <laughs> oh, like, I'm that. trying to tell you, bro, he's, he's a, a troll. troll. He's a, you'll think, he'll meet you, you'll be like, hey, Tyler, fuck you, and walk away. <laughs> you'll be like, yo, this nigga's a jerk. Like, you really think he on some Michael Jordan? You know how you Michael Jordan stories? Like, yes. Michael Jordan was an asshole. I have heard many of those. You feel me? That's, That's Tyler That's crazy. You've heard them, too? Yeah. I just started wow. hearing them. That's no, what's so I've crazy. No, I've heard serious, like, I've heard four, some shit. Four, I've heard about four or five, like, ones, and I was like, what? Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I heard, it's like, AI talk about MJ. I heard so many players talk about MJ. That's hysterical. Like, he just, like, a bully on the court. Off the court, he an yeah. asshole. I know somebody who met him and asked him, and he was they had Jordan's on the whole thing and asked him for an autograph, and he was like, he's like, I've always wanted to meet you. Can I get a picture or whatever? And he said, um, you always wanted to meet me. He's like, well, now you met me, so just, you have that memory. What you need a picture for? And <laughs> and broke out on him. Yo, you know what though? Can I say something? You can. You may. Yes, you may. Look at you, raise your hand. And yeah, we in a class right now. Um, may I please say something? Mm-hmm. Not to justify that, but I can. I could comment on how a lot of times people might come up to you asking for pictures and autographs because you're a famous person. Mm -hmm. Not because they're a fanatic, a fan, a supporter, inspired. Mm -hmm. Usually, I see a famous person, I just want, I need to go up on Snapchat or Instagram. I respect if he's just like, yo. Because what happened to, I do autographs because that's tangible and I feel like you're you're, you're cherished. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's sentimental. Yeah. Usually I don't take pictures because I'm walking and I just don't like that shit. I'm not too good, none of that. I just really don't be on that time. Like, y'all see, I barely post on Instagram like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not my style right now. Like, that's just not. So if a fan rolls up to you, you prefer not to take a picture. You prefer to give them an autograph. I prefer to have a conversation. Right? Yeah, I prefer to really like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I prefer it when they come up to me like, yo. This changed my life, or I love when you did this. Keep going. Damn, thank you. That's a trophy, for real. Yeah. That means a lot. But Yo, what do I they get have... when they walk away? They got to have something to walk away with. Like Michael Jordan said, you got you to meet that some... moment. Nah, for real. <laughs> no, because we share in the moment. Yeah, yeah. What do I get to take from that situation? Yeah, yeah. Think about it. You making me, just like I made you. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like Andre said. He said, <clears throat> he said, if I, I don't eat, if you don't move your feet, he said. He said, I don't eat if you don't move your feet. So we like neck to neck. Mm-hmm. So it's the truth. It's like at the end of the day, you you are, you you could be an average person. I just want a photo with a celebrity, or you could really be a supporter. Cherish I, every memory worth well. I don't get from a picture. Mm. I remember it because it's here, mm-hmm. because it happened, because I cherish it. And that's what I. If you really fuck with me, and you really love me, and then I'm in a rush. We have be a understanding. Yeah. yeah we'll I do pictures moment. sometimes, but I'm just saying most of the time niggas ain't in the mood. You got shit you doing and imagine if you get asked for three hundred times a day for a picture, and I'm not exaggerating. Mm-hmm. On average it's a, at least hundred and fifty. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's hundred and fifty pictures. Yeah, a hundred and fifty. It's a little bit part of the job though, no, right? No. No? Mm-mm. You didn't sign up. That's not part of your job description. Mm-hmm. Look at Frank Ocean. There's really I kept... no job description. You define, I guess, what it exactly is. Exactly right? my point. Yeah. And that's my thing. I want you to remember me for my accomplishments and my, my aspirations and what I inspire you to do. Like, I really want these kids to be as jiggy as they could be, be as smart as you could be. Yo, we from the same place. There's no reason why you don't have the good vernacular. You got to be intelligent. You can't let these niggas play you. None of that, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm trying to just help them do that. That's what I'm on. Like, other than that, 
and I'm trying to make visuals. I'm trying to make movies for people to see my vision. That's the only way to show them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you could always verbally tell somebody something, and that's when you do it through the music. But visually, that component is very important, and that's why I take so much pride in directing my own videos. That's why I take pride in shooting my own covers. Do it yourself, because these kids are doing it themselves, mm. and it starts with a mixtape. And trust me, before you know it, you could do it. You can apply that with anything you're doing. I'm hanging around hackers and nerds right now. I'm not even with <laughs> niggas that's cool like that. Like half the niggas I've dressed around, they wear the same shit as me because I give it to them like free clothes. Like <laughs> other than that, like you know, right? That's what you're trying to do. That's what I'm on. Well, I like, I want a picture today, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got I me need there. to capture the, I need to capture the memories today. I need one too. All right, good. We're on it. What's our ASAP Rocky, y'all? Spot one five point one.